Hello, my name is Carly Sorio, and I am a student from the Chingabin School in Highlands, Texas. This year, Alexa Jonathan Wonksa and I did a project called Do You Want an Asteroid? This is a mock scenario in which an asteroid the size of the United States would hit Earth and create mass extinction. These are the facts from the PLP website. As you can see, we drew a sketch of where everything would be at what time. The blue ellipses represents the orbit of the asteroid. The green circle represents the Earth's orbit. Where they meet would be the collision. The pinkish red circle in the middle is the sun. We don't know exactly where the asteroid will be at any given time, but we do know that by July 31st, half a year before impact, the asteroid will be about two astronomical units away from the sun. Rather than make exact calculations that may end in disaster if slightly incorrect, we decided to have a few separate devices. First, you have the ma magnet sheath. This device, which will be solar powered, will be led to the orbit of the asteroid and follow that equation. Meanwhile, we'll launch the Teddy Bear trackers. These move faster than the magnet sheath and are rather small. They will move ahead of the magnet sheath and find the asteroid for it. Once they do, they will communicate back to the magnet sheath their position and the magnet sheath will find the quickest route to get there. Once it gets close to the asteroid, it will slow down and open up its arms, as you could call them. The arms are made of magnetic metal. The asteroid is made of iron. We all know that two metals of the same charge will repel and opposites attract. Both cases would work in our favor. If the metal of the arms repels the asteroid, then it would slow it down. The closer it got, the more the asteroid would slow down or maybe even reverse. Even if we didn't manage to hold it in place for that long, we would definitely mess up the asteroid's perfect timing and it would miss Earth. If it attracts the asteroid, then the magnet sheath will end up hugging the asteroid and we increase the speed of the magnet sheath so that we can stop the asteroid from moving.